Welcome to Crypto Tutors. We are humanizing cryptocurrency and blockchain and are bringing the best trailblazers and success stories like Isaiah Jackson, Tanya Evans, Ian Bellina, Cleve Mesador, and Tinashe Nitaganga on the crypto couch. Click subscribe and the bell to be the first to watch the latest interviews every single week. Crypto tutors, crypto tutors, crypto tutors, hey. It's a way. Making money in my sleep? I had to finish the song. I had to finish Making the song. Money Making sleep. money in our sleep, right? Who doesn't want to talk about passive income? Well, on today's show, well, first of all, welcome back. Ladies, gentlemen, and other to the crypto couch. This is a very special crypto couch presented to you by none other than one of the best crypto exchanges in the market, Gemini. Look, look, Satoshi Nakamoto, you could you could get it from the store. You could buy it. I think I think you have yours as well. You got your branded t-shirt. Uh Jarek, I see you. I see you. Well, we have a very, very special uh, show for you today where we're going to be talking to a mobile engineer at Gemini who went from surgery to software. So ladies and gentlemen and others, let's give a warm welcome, a virtual welcome to Mr. Jarek Warren. Welcome to the couch. The crypto couch. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lisa. I'm so excited to be here. I love the energy. I love your show. Look great. Thanks. The energy is infectious. You know, like I always say to people, like, even though we're in the midst of a pandemic and it's a virtual experience that doesn't hold us back from infusing positive energy virtually. So that's what we do all day, every day, Jarek. And we're getting it back from you. And we love to have you. We love to see it. So Tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, um, where are you from? Uh, and I also think it will be super helpful for folks to hear of a breakthrough that you've had since making the transition from medicine to mobile engineering, particularly within the crypto arena. Yeah, yeah, I know, for sure. So my name is Jarek Warren. I'm from Michigan originally. I uh, studied medicine in Washington, D.C., Howard University. You know, that's my alma mater. Um, and uh, shortly after I studied medicine, I changed my career path into software engineering. So now I'm a mobile engineer at Gemini. Um, of course, Gemini is a cryptocurrency exchange based out of New York City. So one of the major breakthroughs I've had within crypto within the past year or two is that I was able to, de to design our widget for the Apple devices. So iOS 14, if you go into the Gemini uh, app, you can actually get your widget and see all your prices and everything like that. We built that as a team. Um, but in, in terms of serving our community, I was able to moder moderate a whole clubhouse room with you, Lisa, Isaiah Jackson, Naja Roberts, and we had a great time. So that was a huge breakthrough for me personally, but then also for the crypto space. And so, you know, what was it about that experience? You know, you talked about the community and clearly being a, uh, you know, uh, a mobile engineer in uh, for a crypto exchange and for that matter, being a person of color. I mean, these are all very, um, you know, groundbreaking, barrier breaking experiences. So, you know, how are you doing what you're doing and, and how can we uh, replicate that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I think it just highlights how crypto is for everybody. And I think the more that we share a platform, I love crypto tutors. I love what you're doing here. Education with entertainment. Entertainment. I'll drop edutainment. a couple bars later. <laughs> the bars, yeah, entertainment, um, and just allowing people to to recognize that historically, in order to get into a new asset class, you had to be of a certain uh, race, had to be of a certain sex. It just wasn't uniform. You know, there were a whole lot of barriers. Um, I remember years ago, my parents just getting into the stock market and no brokerage would even talk to them unless they saved at least $25,000. But now you can do it with $10 or less, 20 bucks and get a, a piece of the pie here and a piece of crypto. So it's for everybody and just allowing people to know that and, and to experience it, I think is life changing. Oh, you touched on so many points and uh, we're definitely going to dig into that, especially on the accredited investing and just, you know, some of the like, um, you know, systemically um, sort of, you know, 
quite honestly, racist practices that have held back, you know, certain communities, including ours, from being able to partake in, um, you know, wealth, wealth building. So it's a really exciting time that we're living in. That's what we do what we do. Uh, that's why we're in the crypto space. And uh, Jared, we actually have a course called uh, Make Money While You Sleep. Mm -hmm. And we we called it that because it was about how you can take ten dollars and if you have an online bank account, you can participate in 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 crypto and you can reap the rewards of being in an industry. We talk about Bitcoin being the best performing asset of the past 10 years. Yep. Um, so before we get into all of that, though, we're going to go back in time. Right. Yep. So you mentioned studying medicine at Howard University um, yep. and were a, you were a surgical resident. So how or why did you decide to make the pivot into engineering? Sure. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great question. No, it's great. It's great. Um, you know, I think it's kind of in my DNA. I've always loved medicine. I've always loved biology. And I've always loved that idea of computers and programming. Um, but I was never formally taught programming. In fact, while I was in medical school, when medicine was just getting too crazy and just over inundated with information, I just want to relax. I would go to tech conferences and it was like a it was beautiful. So if you can think of it this way, medicine is like classical music, very nice, very stringent. It's beautiful, but too much of it. I'm just I can't handle it. So tech is kind of like jazz. It was just kind of like the other side of like you can move a little bit, you know, so a little bit. And if you have too much jazz, it's too much, too. So. I want to always find a, a beautiful marriage between the two, a combination between the two. And it's really kind of all I really think about in terms of like profession. So those are my two loves. And I decided to go for it. Oddly enough, while I was in medical school, I was talking about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology in my seminars. And, and my professors were like, oh, what is this? And all this other type. So I've always, once I've heard about blockchain and crypto i was just 100 like annulled with it i love okay, it well, wait wait jared let's talk about that how were you introduced to crypto how were you introduced to blockchain and like what time around was this yeah so i was introduced into blockchain technology in 2013 and i got into bitcoin shortly around 2013 late 2013 2014 I was interested in it because I was a poor medical student and I needed to buy, pay bills. <laughs> so I would buy some Bitcoin, my first Bitcoin purchase for $800. And I just waited till it went up to $1,000 and I could pay my cell phone, pay some rent, you know, do what I need to. I just needed a, a, a separate uh, income stream. Want to learn more? Visit CryptoTutors.com.